Um, so it's Vim. This is an open source text editor that many programmers still use even today, which is actually quite surprising because modern editors like Visual Studio and Sublime are much easier to use. On the other hand, Vim has different modes for different actions, and you can't even use a mouse. You have to rely entirely on the keyboard. It's also quite hard to learn. It takes a lot of time to master, but once you do, people say it significantly speeds up your coding. So today, let's see what makes it so special. I am a Discord bots and dashboard developer, and I also create websites. I've been coding for two years, and today we will use Vim to write a simple command for a Discord bot. The goal is to write a command that replies with hello whenever we type something. Normally, this is very easy to do in Visual Studio, but let's see how much time it takes in Vim. So let's go. So the first thing we need to do is install Vim. For that, I'll search here for how to install Vim. And I guess this is the official Vim website. I mean, it's just pure HTML. I don't know why, but oh well. From here, I'll download the installer and simply install it. Uh, so now I've installed it and let's search for it. Actually, there's no need to search. It's already showing up here. What are all these? I know about Vim, but what is GVim and GVim Easy? Well, let's open simple Vim. Oh, here we go. Here's Vim. But I've seen that we can also use Vim in the command prompt. Let's see. Let me open the command prompt and type Vim. What? It's not working here. Why? Let me figure out how to fix this. So, after searching for a while, they're saying that Vim needs to be added to the environment variable. For that, first we'll go to our C drive, then program files, and there should be a folder named Vim. Yes, here it is, and then into Vim 91. And here are all the files. From here, we'll copy this path and then go to the environment variables. Then, under system variables, click on path, edit it, click new, and paste the path. Done. Now, let me open it again, and let's see. So, here we go. Now it's working, but technically it's not opening Vim inside the command prompt. It's just running Vim when I run the command. Um, so, yeah, well, it's good, but now what? I can't type anything here. Let's go to Google again. How to type in Vim. Okay, so to type, you need to enter insert mode by typing I. Oh, okay. So now go back to Vim and let me type I, and now I can see insert mode, and I can simply type now. But what if I want to edit something? How do I move forward and backward? I can't even select anything with the mouse. So I just noticed that I can use the arrow keys on the keyboard to move around, and I can use the delete key to delete and edit text. I can also use the mouse to directly go to a specific word, but this is Vim, and we're supposed to use only the keyboard. No mouse, not even arrow keys. We need to keep our hands in the middle of the keyboard. So moving forward, first, I want to figure out how to open a file in Vim. So once again, how to open a file in Vim. So. Let's open Stack Overflow and here we go. Okay, we can use Vim file name to open a file in Vim. And there are some different commands mentioned here as well, but I guess let's leave those for now. But to open a file, we need to have a file first, right? So let's create one. But can we create a file in Vim? Let's search for it. So many searches today, but no worries. All right. So here it says we can create a new file using Vim, but isn't this command used for opening files? Still, it's saying we can use it to create files as well. Let's see. So now I'm in Vim, but how do I quit Vim so I can run the command? Okay, first we need to press the escape key, then type colon Q exclamation mark and hit enter. All right, so escape colon Q exclamation mark, enter. Here we go, already feeling like a pro. Now I'm in the command prompt and I'll use it to create a file and folder. First, I'll switch to another drive, the D drive. To do that, I type D and hit enter. Here we are. Now, let's use dir to display all files in this directory. Then, to create a new folder, I'll use mikdir folder name and done. It's created. To go inside this folder, I'll use cd folder name and the folder is empty right now. Now, let's use vmindex.ids. Oh, wow, very cool. It creates a file named index.js, and here it says new, so this is a new file. Now I can type in this file. Very nice. So let's start writing the code. So we're in insert mode and let's start. Oh nice, it's also doing syntax highlighting, which looks good. Uh, uh, 
I'll write the full code here. It's not much, and I'll be back. So I've written the code, and it wasn't too hard, just a bit obvious. But now I need to add the bots token here, and why not try some new Vim commands for pasting? I already copied the token, but let's see how to paste it. Uh, it says press P to paste after the cursor, or, or P to paste before the cursor. Okay, it's in my clipboard, and I'm pressing P, uh, but it's not pasting. Um, Control plus P will show suggestions, but P isn't working. I think I need to search for it again. It's saying the same thing, but now I'm in uh, visual mode and I'm pressing P and still nothing is happening. The code is just messing up. Now it's saying mark not set. What the hell does that mean? Well, everything is messed up and I don't know if it's a glitch or something, but my command prompt is stuck and I don't know what to do. So can we undo? Let's search for it. Uh, it says I have to press escape to return to normal mode, then U, but I'm not sure. I think it's messed up, so let me open it again, go back to my directory, and open the file. Now it's saying there's a swap file, um, index.js.swp. What's that? Press Q to quit. Let me open it again, same issue. Let me go to that uh, location. Oh, what's that file? Who created this? Let me open it and see what's in there. Ugh, I don't know. So let me delete it and create the file again. Does that mean I have to write the whole code again? No, please. Now, if I'm doing undo, it's working by the way, so that's nice. But now I wanna learn how to paste so I can paste the whole code. So I'll, I'll write one line again, and then I'll paste the rest of the code. I've copied all the code now. So let's see how I, how I can paste it. Um, I think I need to search something different now. Yeah, here we go. Now we have some searches explaining exactly what we need to do. It's showing three methods, and I think method two is good, but method three seems easier, but we'll stick with Vim. So what I need to do is plus P and press enter. Yes, please work. It's not working. I'm doing the same thing. Why isn't it working? So do I need to run it like a command? But I can't. Commands should start with a colon. It's not working. Let's go back and it's saying to run, help paste. So let me run it. And here's a lot of English written and I don't understand it. Now, how do I go back from here? I don't know. I think I have to quit. So let me do Q and exit. Now it's creating a new file, I guess. Not sure, but let's see. After pressing enter, I tried a lot of things. And finally, I noticed something. When I go back to normal mode and type something, it shows what I'm typing. So I type the same here and it pasted. Finally, I'm so happy. Okay, now I simply have to write the last line and paste the token. It's easy this time because I already know how to do it. Now, let's see how we can save the file in Vim. So I need to go to command mode and type, oh yes, cool, let me make sure it's saved. So I go to the file and open it in Visual Studio. And yes, here we have all the code. I don't know why it's creating other files, but our code is right here, so it's saving. Now let's see how we can uh, run this file in Vim. It says, if I want to run it, I need to switch back to command mode and type note index.js. So let's do that. It's running, but it's giving an error. Can't find module discord.js. So how can we install it? Let's search for it. Or wait, maybe I don't need to search. I can just run it like this. An npm install discord.js comma, and now it's installing. Cool. So it's installed, and now if we run it, here we go. The bot is running. If we go to our server and send a message, the bot replies with, hello, in return, finally. Now, let's see how we can comment in Vim. I wanna comment this section. Let's see. Okay, to comment and uncomment, it shows us the command and we need to be in block mode. Let's follow what it says. Oh, cool. 
First try, nice. So I commented it. And now I can simply select it and press X to uncomment it. Now, for JavaScript, that's not how we comment. So let me do the same thing. But this time I'll use slash slash instead of a hash. And that's it. I know there are a lot more Vim commands, a lot of them, but I'll try to keep practicing them. And uh, yeah, I noticed that as we learn more commands, our speed increases. And it's also fun to use different commands for different actions. So yeah, if you like the video, please like it, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to support me, you can visit my Patreon link in the description. Bye-bye. Take care.